How's it going guys, RXXC aka The Raging Cajun here and we're finally back. <laughs> Uh, there have been a lot of uh, ominous comments on some videos asking where I am and if I'm okay. I am doing great, actually. Uh, I moved into a new home. Uh, that's what you're seeing here in the backdrop. And kind of first thing, I have this big uh, blank space here that because of how I'm filming is here. Um, and if y'all have suggestions of to what to put here, I had an idea of like one of those little cork boards and then, you know, stacking some Digimon cards on there or something to make like a little color wall, which would be kind of cool, I think, in my opinion. Uh, but if y'all have suggestions for that, leave them down in the comments because I really have no idea. But welcome back, everyone. Welcome myself back. I'm glad to be back. Uh, it's been a while. I moved. Uh, work was crazy. I was doing a class every day in the summer for a long time, going off on vacations, all that good stuff. Uh, but school year's about to start. I'm about to fall back into normalcy. Uh, and it's uh, it's it's gonna be a, a good time for me to kind of get back into the swing of doing these things um, I actually get to do a lot of editing at work uh, on off time and things like that So uh, we can kind of start getting back into business and uh, I'm happy to be back So what I wanted to do today was just kind of get my feet wet with YouTube again um, and just talk about um, You know one of the reasons why we weren't recording so much uh, was because our area didn't receive a lot of product after the 1.0 pre-release. Um, we had a big pre-release. We got uh, four or five boxes between you know my crew here, um, and then 1.5 came out, and there was like nothing. Uh, we still don't have a lot of 1.5. It took me a while to get Ragnarokmon, uh, not Ragnarokmon. Um, uh, what's his name? Alter S, <laughs> uh, and stuff like that. Uh, I had to like order Blitz Greymon and stuff, so it was kind of rough. Uh, then set four came out, and uh, that set was pretty lackluster in our opinion. Um, there were some cool things, obviously, of Lusamon, uh, Nighthogmon. It helped green out a lot. Chaosmon came out, really cool. Um, but other than that, uh, it didn't help a lot of what we were playing. So there wasn't a lot for us to do. Uh, so we weren't, you know, too comfortable with coming back at that point because it would have felt a little lame. But now we just had a set five pre-release, and uh, this set's awesome. Uh, we're big fans of this set uh, with all the different Omnimons and stuff uh, all the cool alt arts like this thing is One of the nicest cards they've made yet. Look at this. Oh my god. Um, it's great. Uh, this set's cool a lot of buffs to red uh, purple gets some stuff black gets Armageddon and the whole set blows up with Lord Nightmon or uh, the, the yellow level six that I can't remember the English or Japanese name. I call it Lord Nightmon. Crusadermon? Um, yeah, so this set's awesome. So what I wanted to do is kind of fill myself in and take you guys along for the journey because because of the moving and because of everything, um, I, I've been kind of drawn back from the game a little bit. I know what's going on, uh, but I don't know what all the cards do and stuff. So I'm going to take you all in for a quick little trip on digimoncard.dev, uh, and I'm going to kind of read through and talk about some things I'm interested in uh, and then ask you all some questions because uh, again, I'm not well versed in what's going on anymore. So uh, let's go ahead and check out digimoncard.dev and I'll see y'all there. All right, uh, so here we are. Um, excuse the frames on my face. Uh, I'm using OBS and I remember right before I stopped recording stuff, I was having trouble with this anyway. So we're just gonna have to deal with it while I do the share screen thing. Hate me if you want to in the comments, I don't care. But uh, let's go ahead and kind of look at set four real quick. Uh, because this is something that we missed here on the channel and I feel like it's appropriate for us to go back and kind of talk about what happened. For Red, uh, for me, uh, I've actually been using this thing. Um, it, it's a level three to get to, I mean, it's it's three costs to get to level five, um, but uh, the added security attack, like yesterday I was using uh, the, my deck in a uh, little pre-release tournament and I had an Alter S with the uh, started at Greymon and this thing under it. So I was like 15, 15 K, uh, three security attacks, uh, on an altar S, which if I, you know, removed, uh, the six or whatever, uh, he couldn't be blocked, which was, which felt really cool. Um, so this is like an honorable mention, uh, from this set. I, I, I did, yeah, it took some work to get him in there, but uh, I, I do like the card and it's pretty cool. I haven't messed with, oh, oh, sorry, before we get moving. Um, Fugamon, the one cost level four. So now you have uh, Dark Tyrannomon and this for red. Um, <clears throat> it's really nice. Uh, it's really cool. It, it helps out a lot. It's also a three cost to just drop. 
Uh, so turn one, I don't feel too bad about that. Dropped on level four, so I can get straight into, you know, my Valk German or something next turn. Lava Garidamon, Ground German, all those good red cards. But yeah, uh, that that's a cool card that came out in this set too for red. A lot of what I'm going to talk about is red because that's all I played. You know, I, I haven't had time to explore like we did kind of earlier on in the channel with everything. Um, but uh, I do have a lot of experience with red, green, and kind of yellow. Not really. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I didn't get a lot of time to play with the Aguinamon and Aldamon stuff. Also, didn't get a lot of time to play with the new Shine Greymon, which I know is a thing, but I know it's not like the best thing out of this set that came out, uh, but whatever. But what I did love was Victory Greymon. This dude uh, has been uh, a replacement in my deck for Blitz Greymon. I keep one Blitz um, just because uh, reasons. Um, but this thing turned out to be way better than I thought it did. Um, and the cool play that you can do with it <clears throat> is, um, I was running into a problem early on because we only had two. It sucks. Because, like I said, cards, uh, were hard to come by. Uh, if you use Omnimon, you get to reuse this thing. So if you're, if you're building up your board well, uh, and you have a level five or whatever next to your Omnimon, for whatever reason that they let you do that, <laughs> uh, you can, you know, do the Omnimon thing, reuse this, and then do it again. Uh, and that felt really good. I've done that a couple times. Um, but just being able to kill a 8k or below, um, which is killing a lot of important things, uh, it's a, it's a good tempo changer. Um, which Blitz was cool. Um, but still leaving something there to digivolve up to and then giving your opponent four or whatever you give them after that point to digivolve didn't feel as good as completely killing the thing and leaving it with four, um, uh, completely killing something and then giving them four feels better than just de-digivolving. Now de-digivolving still has its uses, obviously, um, if, if there's a baby at the bottom and then they digiburst away the three. Uh, you can theoretically kill the thing, um, which I have done. Um, but, you know, I like this card a lot. Uh, I've moved to using more of this than Blitz Greymon, um, but that might change with this new set. So let's keep moving. Um, obviously, uh, this Rise Greymon has been a great uh, improvement to the yellow deck, um, depending on which one you're using. If you're using Shine Greymon or the new War Greymon, which we'll look at here in a second. Um, yeah, this deck, this deck is good, <laughs> and it and it's only getting better. Uh, well, it's it's a new deck with the Crusader Mon, but um, yeah, the the new Rise Gray Mon uh, really did help out a lot uh, for this yellow deck. And he, you know, my friend plays it, and I have to play against him. And yellow's really good, so I get really aggravated. But <laughs> it is a good deck. I can't complain. Um, moving into blue. Blue didn't really do anything this set. There was a Z Garurumon, you know, kind of moving around. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of it. I think uh, there's a Garurumon deck coming out later. Um, maybe with this set. I forget what's happening. Um, but uh, I do know that this was a thing. Uh, I didn't get to mess around with it much. Uh, moving into yellow. Um, like I said, uh, War Greymon. Uh, this became a deck that was pretty dominant. Um, obviously was winning like every tournament. Uh, I didn't get a chance to mess with it except maybe once because we built it and I didn't like it um, But I did just get you know thwacked with it yesterday at the tournament uh, by a very good player um, Congrats to you if you're watching this for whatever reason um, But yeah, uh, we got bushy Agumon in yellow pretty cool thing um, This uh, Pitomon is a good yellow blocker the one one cost to evolve yellow blocker, which was nice for them um, green got Nighthogmon uh, which is just uh, really good um, if you play it right. If you play it really stupidly, um, there's kind of no point in doing it. Um, but he is a good addition to green because um, they have like a good, decent board wipe if they're if they're playing the deck right, using your flower cannons and stuff to tap things. Then you night hog and clear more things than just the the one or whatever. So um, yeah, that was pretty good. Lil uh, Lilamon was also pretty good. Kind of behind my head here, sorry. Uh, but Digiburst 2 and do a Flower Cannon is pretty neat if you need it. You don't have to, but it is an option, so that's pretty cool. Uh, black got weird <laughs> uh, because you got the uh, Dark Jermon line and everything. You got the uh, Command Jermon boys. Um, I've seen it work. I've seen it not work. It's okay. Uh, Blastmon, I've seen rarely work, but not really. Uh, moving into Purple... 
you know, I thought Plutomon would be more of a thing, um, but I haven't seen it. Uh, I, mean, I haven't been playing too much, but we didn't use it, and I haven't seen many people talking about it. Um, but Anubamon was cool. Uh, Anubismon, sorry. And then Cerebusmon, Werewolf Mode, was a really cool deck. Uh, and then getting into this stuff, we got Chaosmon. Uh, we have found that both of them are very good. Uh, a lot of people say that the green yellow is the best one uh, because he does different things. Uh, but the green black one is pretty scary too. Um, you know, uh, we, we have a green player here and he chooses to use this one. Um, and it, honestly, it, it kind of messes me up sometimes. So uh, there's some merit to that. Uh, we got Blinding Ray for yellow, which uh, did change a lot of things. Uh, it's a pretty good card. Uh, trash the top card of your security stack, then gain two memory. So you're yellow, you're getting close to that magical three security number that you're looking for, and you get to, you know, drop, uh, get some memory, uh, which allows you to do other things. The most disappointing thing for me is the Ancients. Um, there's no really good way to play these yet. Uh, uh, I know Ancient Garurumon gets a deck soon. I saw something about it a long time ago on YouTube. Don't know if it's still going to happen. Uh, but that is an option and it is something that's going to be happening so i wish i could got my hands on these uh and then lucimon the uh you know the prize card of this set that everybody was looking for um it's it's really good uh it's a level three that you can do shenanigans with uh and it's really expensive uh, as you can see uh the alt art is still 96 dollars. so but anyway let's go on to the main event here which is bt5 um and check out what's new so, um, we are here in BT5, uh, and we're going to start off with red. Uh, the Koromon that you get, uh, this whole set has all these different things for Agumon, Greymon to Omnimon, and uh, uh, Garurumon to uh, Omnimon, and, and stuff like that. So, uh, blue and red got these two, like, combining things to get to Omnimon to do cooler things, um, and this Koromon is part of that. Uh, if it has Omnimon or Greymon, you get to draw one. Da, 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 da. Same thing with the Sunamon, kind of does the same kind of uh, idea. Um, these are really good additions. Um, this Agumon is the same thing, uh, kind of moving on to On Play, Reveal 3 from Top Deck, out of Digimon with Greymon, its name, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, early on, testing a long time ago, uh, playing with a buddy online, I made like a Greymon to Omnimon deck that this set kind of asks you to play uh, and I had a good time with it It wasn't optimized very well. What was nice is that we do get the one cost uh, to evolve red blocker now um, You sacrifice that for the 5000 DP of course But it's still nice to get to a blocker if you need to for one instead of the two for the core um, This Greymon's cool. Uh, it, it basically gets to uh, you know, get, get evolved for one, um, which is cool. And you have a Greymon, uh, and this Inheritable is pretty good too. Uh, it gives uh, Omnimon or a bigger Greymon uh, plus 2000 DP, which is nice. So you don't have to have that, you don't have to fit in the space for that starter deck tie, which is cool. Um, and then we're moving into um, the uh, Shoutmon stuff, which I'm not well versed in yet, uh, but I want to. That's probably something I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of days is actually playing around with this deck. Um, because he's dope. <laughs> he's really, really cool. He has Blitz, which is the new thing from this set, which is letting you attack, um, like on to your opponent's turn. You play over the memory, you get to still go. Um, and I was hearing things of plays where you can like, uh, do all the shenanigans with this because he's like sticking stuff under his, uh, uh, sources and kind of getting buffed up that way. And then you put the new Omnimon on top of it and Blitz. There's cool things you can do with this, and I, I'm eager to try them. Um, but he's working in part with this Z Greymon, uh, which helps out this, because uh, if it has Blitz, uh, it can attack unsuspended Digimon, which works for Omnimon too, obviously, because the new Omnimon has Blitz, which is really cool. Um, so you can go straight from this to the new Omnimon, which is an option, obviously. Uh, but Red uh, got a lot of buffs this set, and I'm very excited. Um, Blue. Blue gets Hexablaumon, which is probably the second deck I'm most uh, excited about because um, it's this source control deal. Uh, and if you get you know them down to zero sources on things, you can do some really cool moves and plays uh, that I'm really excited about. Um, and I know that this deck gets better 
kind of next set with a Zulan Mon, if I'm not mistaken. I uh, saw some videos where I was looking at that. So this deck's definitely going to get built uh, in the house here, um, but uh, will it be top tier? I don't know, but it is really interesting, and I'm really excited to see how it plays out. I know a lot of people at our locals are excited to play this deck, so uh, I'm excited to play against it and see how how bad it messes me up. But um, this is a really cool card, uh, and it has a lot of help uh, with its own things. So uh, Chris Peldramon, um, Digivolving your discarding sources, uh, the uh, Peldramon, your Digivolving trashing sources, the Blucomon, which is a rare, which is really interesting that the level three is the rare uh, for this thing. Um, when you trash a devolution card, uh, you gain a memory. So everything in the deck is geared towards doing that. Um, and it kind of, you know, helps you make the deck that way. It, it kind of tells you how you want it, how, how it wants to be played. So uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so going into yellow, full disclosure, um, I know it's the best deck moving forward. Um, I don't know how to play it yet, and I haven't experienced it yet. Uh, I've seen maybe a YouTube video and a half about it. Um, this is where I'm talking about. Leave comments on explaining how this goes for people coming to the video and stuff. Um, I know that Lord Nightmont is nuts. I know it's the best card in the set, allegedly. Um, but it's when attacking, you may play a level 3 Digimon card or, or a yellow Digimon card with Warrior in its type from your hand without playing the memory cost. That's when attacking. Um, and then for each of the Digimon you have in play, this Digimon gets plus a thousand. Um, so you're constantly just playing things and doing things. Uh, this is a thing. You can play a Nightmon and then subtract four um, other things that are uh, like on play, which I can't think about right now. This guy on play, you can search your security stack for one Digimon card with Warrior and add it to your hand. If you do, trigger recovery. So you're just getting the warriors back in your hand for Lord Nightmon to keep, continue to play. It's a cool deck. It's supposed to be stupid good, I understand. Uh, so uh, we'll be looking into this on the channel, probably be a battle video with it because uh, Matuska wants to play it. Um, and anyway, moving to green. Um, not too many buffs for green because it got a lot from the last set, like I said, with Nighthogmon and Chaosmon. So thankfully they didn't go crazy. Um, I know Lane, one of our, our green player here, is excited about this card. Um, on deletion, uh, you return a, a suspended Digimon to the bottom, so it's kind of like, um, kind of like vengeance a little bit, uh, retaliation, whatever it's called in English. Uh, you got Rafflesmon, which is kind of the big green card from the set. I know we haven't really been talking about it, uh, so uh, I don't know. Uh, if y'all are green players, let me know in the comments if you know anything about this. This Argamon um, is Digisorption 2, uh, and then when Digivolving, you suspend all the opponent's tamers, um, and all turns, your opponent's tamers don't unsuspend. So this is like the straight up counter to yellow, uh, like Shine Greymon, um, because you can't like do that. Obviously, there's other decks that suspend tamers, um, but this one is probably directly <laughs> pointing a gun at uh, Shine Greymon, um, which is cool, uh, but do you really wanna include this in your green deck? I don't know, we'll see. Um, so moving into black, uh, we get Armageddon on this set, um, which really pulls from a lot of the old uh, um, Diabormon cards and stuff like that, but it did get a lot of things like the Karamon and the Inframon, reveal five cards from your deck, add a Digimon card with Unidentified, um, the deck now, because of uh, Arata, uh, wherever he is, his beautiful self, there he is. Um, you know, you're you're doing a lot of things with this. If you're playing, if you have multiple Arata out, then you're doing really good, uh, and you're getting out this monster uh, relatively quickly, uh, alongside a bunch of tokens and stuff for Diaburaman, and you're like one turn killing your opponent with like seven tokens or something like that. Um, I've tested against this a couple of times, so I am pretty versed in this deck. It's, I mean, from what we were doing, pretty good. Uh, I have not tested it against Lord Nightmon. I think that that's one of its, um, you know, kind of bad plays uh, for that deck. Uh, but everything else, I think, you know, it does pretty well. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that deck I'm might try if, if I have the stuff for it. I, I know we don't have many Diaboromon things because I kind of gave them away the day before that card got released. Uh, 
are revealed. Uh, and I felt pretty bad about it, but it's whatever. Um, anyway, purple, you get uh, Chaos Gallant Hon, uh, which is a, a dominant card. Uh, it does a lot of cool things. Um, uh, purple is not my strong suit. I'm more of a red and blue guy, personally. Um, but uh, we're gonna have some discussions about all these cards later. Again, this is me just getting my feet wet. If y'all know anything about purple, uh, leave it down in the comments. I know there's Mega Dramon too, which is like a nice addition to that strategy um, uh, because you can get another Gallantmon uh, out because of it dying, which is really cool. Uh, and then one of the stars, or a couple of the stars, we have the new Omnimon, which I was talking about earlier. It has Blitz. It's only four to Digivolve, which is really cool. Uh, for a level four or level seven, excuse me, um, it has blitz, uh, and then when digivolving, you can unsuspend. So you swing with something, unsuspend, you get to blitz again and an attack. Um, and then all turns, if uh, an opponent's effect would delete this Digimon or return it to its owner's hand or deck, uh, you may prevent it from leaving play by trashing uh, the level six. Um, which I forgot about this effect until I pulled. I pulled the one uh, and I read it and I was like, oh, wait, this card's really interesting. Um, so there's a lot of things uh, that we're going to be able to do with this card. Uh, and I'm really excited to get to test with it. We haven't built any decks yet. Uh, we just got these cards yesterday, as I said. So, um, but anyway, um, another thing here is Omnimon Zork, which I think I have a copy of here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Uh, just to show you. Got me a Zwart. Um, he's cool. Uh, when Digivolving, trash the top three cards of your deck. Then you may play up to two black or purple Digimon cards that have a play cost of eight or less from your trash without playing their memory cost. Um, oh wait, maybe this is the thing with the Chimeramon that I was talking about. See, this is how I don't know things. Sorry. Welcome back to the channel, folks. <laughs> um, and then when attacking, uh, you may return one level six Digimon card and this Digimon card's sources. Um to its owner's hand to delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with a play cost of 12 or less. So uh, this is a really good card for uh, black and purple. Um, again, haven't been able to test it yet. I haven't even seen this card on a board yet, uh, but we are going to rigorously test all of these decks because this set uh, is one of my favorites so far for sure. Um, it's got a lot going for it, a lot of like good cards moving forward. A lot of good tamers, uh, like these blue, these blue tamers. Um, they help out a lot of things. Um, when you attack a blue digi with a blue Digimon, you can suspend this tamer to discard Digivolution card. I mean, this card's busted for Hexablaumon. Uh, it's really good. If you get multiples out, like you have, you hit one in security or something because you don't want to pay for it twice. Um, uh, you get like multiple, multiple memory buffs at the beginning of your turns and stuff. It's crazy. We already talked about Arata. Um, Takumi and uh, Nokia, I already had a video about them. I think it was my last video before I stopped. Um, and th these cards are great. Uh, and then every color got really good cards. I know these are probably Black's best um, ability cards. Uh, what do you call these? Option cards. <laughs> Option cards uh, that they've had. Um, and then your secret rares. Also, all Delete and Mega Digimon Fusion. I haven't seen these done in practice, so I don't really want to talk about them, uh, but they're very interesting. Give them a look, and I know they're behind my head right here, and I can do that. So Mega Digimon Fusion uh, is cool, uh, and then All Delete uh, is really interesting. <laughs> Kills everything. It's like Dark Hole or something. Yeah. Yeah, and then you do it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's very cool. Um, oops, excuse me. Uh, so we have Omnimon X Antibody. Uh, this is the big secret rare that has the cool alt art, which is like the um, the throwback card thing. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, this card's interesting. Um, it seems I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen it work yet. I haven't seen anybody try it. Uh, but Zwart Defeat, this card looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, I don't care if it's good or not, but I'll read it because I haven't read it in a long time. Oh yeah, this is the one you play from security. Um, so you play this from security, and then if you digivolve it, you delete one of your opponent's tamers. Very nice. And then on deletion, deletes one of your opponent's Digimon. So he's all about, you know, kind of dying or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, digivolving, getting rid of tamers. So he's really interesting. Um, but those are your, both of your uh, secret rares. Anyway, 
So, um, yeah, we are all really excited about this set. It's really, really interesting. A lot of cards get added to colors that they're cards that that color needed. Like red was getting pretty stale, um, but now it has some stuff to kind of catch up with. But it does kind of veer the strategy into another thing, which to me is okay. I don't mind. Um, but like black gets a whole new deck with Armageddon on. Uh, yellow is getting a whole nother deck with Lord Nightmon. I'm sure there's ways to mix them, obviously, but I'm just saying that the set was made to, you know, progress the game into different styles, which is really cool. Uh, I like that they're doing this with the game. Um, I'm happy to be back and like involved with the game and playing again. Now that we actually have cards, uh, it's a lot more interesting <laughs> because we feel like we can do things. Uh, we have like the tournaments and stuff coming up, which I can do a video about maybe talking. Um, I haven't done any online tournaments or anything for Digimon officially yet, uh, but we plan on doing that if we can. This is a busy next couple of months uh, coming up for me. I will say that uh, because I'm getting married in October, uh, but um, we're going to try to do as much as we can. And uh, I thank you guys for being here. Uh, I appreciate the wait. It's been a long time. I, I know it's been rough. Uh, but hopefully you guys are still here with me. Uh, maybe we can break back into that algorithm and start the community up again. Uh, but thank you. It's been fun. Uh, I, I can't wait to start making videos again. It's going to be really cool. We're going to build some decks. We're going to get some battle videos out for you. Uh, and hopefully have a good time. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you in the next one.